My name is Tina Jared. I'm a mother, a wife, a daughter, a sister. I'm married with two lovely children. I'm a graduate of mass communication. I'm a civil servant. Um, I was diagnosed with sickle cell disease or disorder when I was one. And growing up with it, I see the experience um, the experience, I will not say it has been smooth, no. There are rough days also. Uh, I was not normally we sickle cell um, patients who are considered to be fragile. You know. um, we can't do anything. But then my mom did not raise me like that. I, I, I did house chores like other children would do, you know. I attended boarding school, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I attended boarding school. And there, the life there too was something else. The experience, let's say, has been... Let's say, okay, okay, you know, I tend to keep to myself growing up I tend to keep to myself because of the disorder I had but then when I knew that um, the sickness was not or the dis disease was not was not my fault I got it you know I decided to um, come out be an advocate be an advocate and now I volunteer with um, Sickle Cell Awareness and Health Foundation, Portacot. Well, like I said earlier, um, growing up, we... Okay, before all this awareness came to light, we were perceived to be maybe like abikus, <laughs> you know? And we we'll say, ah, this one, why are you sending her to school? This one that will soon die. You are wasting your money, you know. And by God's grace, I will say they are not God. They are, they are men. I'm alive today. I'm a graduate um, of Bingham University. I studied mass communication and I'm a civil servant also. So, Stigmatization, I will say yes. Uh, there were times I was stigmatized, but I didn't let it get to me. Yes, I, it, 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 made, it shaped me. It made me to be bold to speak out in case there are others, or because of others who are like me, who want to come out to is their opinion you know i like i said i don't let uh, people's talk get get to me i don't do that if not ah my sanity will not be <laughs> kept intact so is their opinion i just smile and let them be let peace reign staying safe that's avoiding sickle cell crisis. You need to know your triggers. We have, um, once you know your trigger, then you are good to go. Take your daily routine drugs. We, we do have um, daily routine drugs we take. We take that, stay hydrated. Um, important thing, know your triggers and avoid them. My triggers. Heat. I don't like heat. <laughs> I don't like heat. It triggers my crisis. And then anxiety also. Anxiety triggers my crisis. So I try as much as I can not to get uh, anxious. 
Um, well, I try my possible best to drink water, plain tea water. <laughs> well, I always advise try and take like three liters a day or even more. So I, I try my best. <clears throat> First thing I ask, that's if I'm close to the person. First thing I ask is, do you know your genotype? What of your partner's genotype? Do you know it? Be like, if you don't know, go and get tested. You know your genotype. Avoid having someone like me. I I I, I, I usually use it like a joke, but I'm dead serious about telling them know your genotype to avoid giving birth to an innocent child that will come with a disorder that is not nice. So they will not know, they will not know the repercussion in future. Sickle cell has, it takes a lot, it takes a lot mentally, physically, psychologically, um, and financially, yes, I should not forget that one. You have, if you must you must go on with your relationship that is you want to get married um you have to be financially stable because sickle cell comes with a lot of complications we have the avn which is avascular necrosis aka hip replacements there's also shoulder replacement that's that one costs much um we have bone crisis bone pain crisis we have um stroke yes especially when the child is a baby there are stroke and uh, they are prone to having stroke at any age um, well, those are the ones I can <laughs> remember for now, but there are a lot of complications that come with sickle cell, and if you must go ahead as an AS, AS couple, you have to be financially stable, physically stable, mentally stable, everything. Um, <clears throat> we're always advised. <laughs> to know our triggers, to drink a lot of water, you know, stay hydrated. That's the word. Stay hydrated, know our triggers, eat a balanced diet, and um, know your triggers so, so as to avoid um, crisis. To avoid crisis. So just know your triggers, basically. Advice: Whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve it. There are a lot of sickle cell um, warriors out there who are what they want to be. We have sickle cell, but sickle cell does not have us. So we are limitless. We can achieve whatever we want to do whatever we put our minds to do. So, let's not limit ourselves to the sickle cell. So, to eradicate um, sickle cell in Nigeria and the world at large, I encourage you, I urge you to know your genotype, particularly intending couples, know your genotype, not just go go for one testing, in three different labs to be sure of your genotype that way will be sickle cell free my name is jared jared daniel and um, it has been an ex quite an experience because uh, sometimes it's not what you actually wish for or plan but um, this is the point it occurs to me to believe love is stronger than any other thing and but the the, the watchword for me is the fact that I am AA 
and she is SS. So that was a go. And I see her as a human being who has one or two challenges. I don't see her as different from any other person because she's SS. Sometimes in a year, I fall much more sick than she is. I've been able to understand the triggers. I've been able to read about it. I understood how to um, conduct myself, especially when there are crises, panic situations. So for um, those of us who are in love, and then you have eventually realized she is SS and you are AS. It's a personal advice. I think find a way to love each other outside marriage or after, after involving yourself to the extent of getting the next child because it's not the best thing to do. It's not the best thing to do. For the sake of your next generation, for the sake of the child in the future, giving birth to an SS child, especially in this generation, ah, it's, it's much work. So please avoid it. Avoid it. Make sure you check your genotype. Make sure you're compatible.